Why do we always see the term ITIL on administrator CVs? Well, ITIL stands for Information Technology Infrastructure Library. And really what it is, is a set of best practices all documented. And now, of course, you can get a certification, foundation and practitioner. And it tells you how to standardize your rollout of your IT department, how to maintain a unified IT services element within your business. Originally, they were designed for data centers, but now used for enterprise IT departments across the world. It's great for large retail, government, pharmaceutical and global banking. ITIL consists of five core publications, each of which are updated to reflect the growing needs of IT as we move into the future. It also forms the foundation for the international standard ISO IEC 2000. Now, without going into any great detail, it's worth you understanding what those five publications cover. Well, firstly, they teach up to 25 processes and they're the most widely used processes today for change management, incident management and how the IT department can deal with service requests and problems that arise. So, for example, in book one, it teaches you everything about service strategy. In other words, how are we going to deliver IT services to the customer in this environment? Book two goes into a bit more detail about the design of the IT, and it's known as service design. How should IT be designed to achieve the above objective? Book three shows you how to do the transitioning over to the new way of working. In other words, how can we maintain our IT services delivery whilst we're transitioning over to a new way of working? Book four is much more about ongoing operation. In other words, how can we optimize our daily delivery to ensure excellence in our IT processes? Book five looks at continual improvement and looks into the future and make sure that you're not failing in your standards. So how are we measuring the success and ensuring continued evolution of our systems? That was a quick overview of the ITIL certification and standards and why it is an invaluable tool in today's administration environment.